Although they might not always want to admit it, there are more actors out there than you think who have left shows because of talent problems. Their own talent being the problem in that they don't have enough of it. A little harsh, yes, but here we are. We're allowed to dunk on these people. Because truthfully, even if they're absolutely terrible at what they do, they're richer than most of us will ever be. So it's only fair. So I'm Amy from What Culture, and here are eight actors that were so bad they had to quit TV shows. Eight, Misha Barton, the OC. There are a number of rumours as to why this member of the OC left. The star herself, of course, puts it down to the usual creative differences gimmick, but there are plenty of rumours that say otherwise. She said in a public statement that it would be best for her health if she left the show because producers were overworking her, departing with a frosty onset goodbye to a group of co-stars who also couldn't stand her. Maintaining the role would have been really great for her career, and so people were really confused when she chose to exit, her character being killed in a car crash. When asked about it, show creator Josh Schwartz puts the exit down to a clash of interests, creativity, and ratings, which is sort of a polite way of saying he wasn't interested in furthering her career. Creatively, he thought he could do better with the show, and that the ratings were showing that the audience really weren't enjoying it. Bad ratings can't all be blamed on Barton, but rumours suggest that the main cause of issues between her and Schwartz was her acting ability and general professional conduct. 7. Luke Grimes in True Blood It is worth starting this one by saying that it sort of hinges on an anonymous tip from a source close to the show and the actor, so nothing has ever been 100% confirmed. If true though, and people do tend to believe it is, it's pretty embarrassing for Luke. Between seasons 6 and 7, Grimes departed from the show and was replaced with another actor, stating that he wasn't happy with the creative direction of the character. Thanks to a source verified by BuzzFeed and HBO, we can decode this to reach the real meaning. Grimes didn't want to play a gay character. In this day and age, even though, yes, this was a few years ago now, you really have to be better than that. Had he had moral issues like that he didn't want to take the role from an openly gay actor, then he would have said so himself. So the implication is that his departure is that he found it insulting or degrading to have to play a character of a different sexual orientation. If this is the case, then it's absolutely for the best that he left, as he clearly wasn't professional or talented enough for the role. 6. Genevieve Bujot, Star Trek Voyager Cast initially as Captain Janeway, it didn't take Genevieve long at all to decide that this new role wasn't for her, leaving after only two days of filming. As with most dramatic quitting stories, there are multiple sides to it, and of course Genevieve's own motivations for leaving will have been far from two-dimensional. There's the side of the story that tells of her disappointment with the character and the crew, feeling she was not given the chance to shine that she was promised. She had to be a woman first and a captain second, which is the reverse of what she wanted. And when you pair that disappointing realisation with the long days and unfriendly co-workers, it's no shock that she wanted out. The other side to this is slightly less flattering for her though, in which producer Rick Bergman insists that she left because she just couldn't live up to what was expected of her. He accused her of being a diva on set, of being difficult to work with, and not having the ability that others did to stomach the long days on set. Seemingly, she was a film actress first and she just didn't have the constitution to meet a TV schedule. Whichever one is the truth, at least they got it out of the way early so a replacement could come in and things could keep running smoothly. 5. Jake T. Austin in The Fosters Known for being a child actor on Wizards of Waverly Place alongside Selena Gomez and David Henry, many agree that this actor should have said goodbye to acting when he hit puberty. Nonetheless, Jake T. Austin has a soft spot in a lot of people's hearts because they feel as though they've watched him grow up on the telly. But that does not mean that we should ignore the fact that his acting hasn't aged very well with him. Whilst featuring on The Fosters as Jesus Adams Foster, the actor helped make it quite obvious why his acting career hadn't really taken off since featuring on the Disney Channel show. Austin soon threw in the towel and announced in 2013 that he'd be leaving the show, and in season 3, Jesus gets into a nasty car crash and everyone thinks he's dead, just for him to return in the next season with a different actor. Noah Centineo steps in to save the day, and hence the new Jesus is born. 4. Taylor Momsen, Gossip Girl According to a statement made by the Taylor Momsen team, Taylor left to pursue her music career. Whilst other members of the cast found their breakthrough roles on the show, Momsen came to the realisation that maybe acting wasn't for her. She landed the role of Jenny Humphrey when she was 14 off the back of her role in The Grinch Stole Christmas. And unfortunately, this meant that viewers had to suffer through four seasons of her acting. Bad acting wasn't the only reason that this young actress left the show. Although her acting may have been lacking, her looks were enough to get her signed to a modelling agency and have her noticed by Madonna. Soon, her musical career was taking off so it was one or the other for this budding star, and the decision was pretty clear. After filming an episode with the guest star Tim Gunn, the actor went off on one and said some horrible things about the young actress and her talent, or lack thereof. Her beef with co-star Gunn was enough, and the young musician said goodbye to her school blazer and tie. 3. David Caruso, NYPD Blue 
This actor has one of the messier exits on the list, and also stuck around the longest on his show. Cast as the leading man in the hit cop series NYPD Blue, David Caruso had the perfect CV and reputation to bag him the role of John Kelly. It wasn't long after filming commenced that the casting director realised what a mistake had been made. The actor was apparently extremely volatile and emotionally unavailable to fellow cast and crew members, and treated everyone as if they were his stepping stones for success. This attitude obviously got him nowhere, and his bad acting and lack of empathy soon found him leaving the show to pursue his big acting career. It sounds as though everyone was probably quite relieved to see the back of this actor, and thanks to his terrible personality, it feels okay to say that his performances felt so forced and robotic that we're surprised he ever got the role in the first place. 2. Larry David on Seinfeld it's fair to say that Larry David wasn't one of the most central, well-known faces in Seinfeld. In fact, he only appeared a few times on screen. However, stick with me here, he literally quit the show in both his showrunner capacity and that of a casual actor because he felt he wasn't good enough to deliver what the show deserved. Actually having someone come out and say that they left because they didn't think they were up to par is very unusual. It's usually creative differences or scheduling problems, you know, these inconspicuous excuses covering the truth. So you've sort of got to respect David for being so straightforward about it, even a few years later. He respected the show and its cast so much that he wanted to do what was best for it, at the same time as acknowledging that he needed a break from the pressure and stress the show put on him. He wasn't a terrible actor or showrunner by any means, he in fact gave the show some of its best bits. However, he felt that he could no longer do enough to make his presence worth it, and stepped down. 1. Charlie Sheen, Two and a Half Men is it a conspiracy theory to say that Charlie Sheen wanted to get fired? Or is it totally reasonable, given that at the time he was an absolute madman that none of us could even begin to wrap our heads around understanding? So yes, technically he was fired and didn't quit, but bear in mind that he was fired after going on an unforgivable tirade against the showrunner, Chuck Lorre, after a long build-up of unhinged interview appearances. Many have made the point that there's no way he wasn't actively trying to get himself fired, or at least see how far he could push things, and he has certainly not denied this idea ever since. At the time when he was let go, he was in a very bad way and performing horribly on the show. He was hostile and rude to co-workers and co-stars, he was actively damaging the show's reputation through interviews and public stunts. There's pushing your luck, and then there's this. He has said since that at the time he thought he could just come back from everything without a problem. He thought he could push and push until he lost his show, his credibility and everything else, and then just get it all back when he was done being in whatever silly, goofy mood he was in. Needless to say, that wasn't the case. If you commit the TV career equivalent of suicide by cop, don't assume that cop's gonna rehire you anytime soon. And with that, we've reached the end of this list of eight actors that were so bad they had to quit TV shows. It's harder than you think to find people who'll admit to this, so if you've got any more, I would actually love to know about them. Stick them in the comments down below. And remember to check out whatculture.com for more lists and articles like this every single day. As always, I've been Amy from Whatculture, and I'll catch you next time.